Hi YouTube, it's Chatty Kathy. Back at it again. Okay, so um, I've had my mom here visiting with me. She'll be here for the week. So I've been a little preoccupied spending time with her and didn't get a video out yesterday, but I'm getting you one now. So I thought I would do the bag that I keep in my truck and show you what I have in here. It's a little bit different. It's not quite finished, but um, it's a start. So this is my bag, my emergency bag for my truck. I'll show you what I have. Um, Got my toothbrush and toothpaste in the front pouch. I'm still working on it. Um, I know there's still some things that I can put in here. Mm. Oh yeah, this isn't for whenever it gets cold outside. Like I said on that one video, the hot and cold compresses, you should hurt yourself. You need to apply heat or cold to it. You see, there's a lot of empty, empty spots in here. I need to fill it. Well, let's see. I don't even have nothing in that one. Um, wow. Okay, so in this one, I have a little bit of food in case I get stuck out somewhere. One time I was making this delivery to Louisiana and like right when you get into Lake Charles, you, Lake Charles or Port Allen, but it's the bridge that goes over into Lake Charles. Well, it was like two miles before you get there. You know, there's those chemical plants right there. Two miles before you get there, the traffic was stopped and backed up. And it was hot. It was such a hot day. And back then I didn't keep waters or anything in my truck like I should have. And I sat there. It took like an hour. I was like two miles back from the bridge. West of the bridge. And it took me like an hour just to get um, close enough to the bridge that um, you could see the bridge and um, the plants and all of that. We were barely moving at all. And like I said, it was so hot and I wasn't running my air. I should have stopped and fueled up. You gotta always keep your truck full of fuel as much as possible because you never know when you're gonna get stuck in traffic or if you know there's an accident or whatever and you're gonna be sitting there for a long time. So I didn't have that much fuel. I just thought, oh, I'm all the way back. I'll stop and fuel up. So because I didn't have that much fuel and I'm sitting in traffic, I didn't run my air conditioner. So I had no AC, had my windows down, it was so hot. I was so thirsty. And I had been driving for hours before. Um, and I had no water. I was so thirsty. So um, luckily, you know, I saw this 18-wheeler. This big truck over there. And I was like, I bet you he's got waters. So um, I... Pulled up next to him and kind of waved at him and he rolled down his window and I was like, hey, you know, I was hoping you got some waters. I'm like so thirsty and all that. And he was like, come on over. I got plenty of waters in my side. The little, you know, that little part like below where the sleeper's at. He's like, I got plenty. Come get you some. So I popped out of my truck, ran over there, grabbed the water. I opened his door and was like, oh my God, I love you. I'm so happy. I was so thirsty. 
And then I ran back around and hopped in my truck and that water was gone just like that. But, and then I told a really good friend of mine, my best friend about it. And he told me, we'll just keep you a case of water in the truck at all times because you never know. So, next time I see him, he uh, put a couple of cases of water in my truck. Told me, you know, keep one back here in the back and then you keep one in your front seat so you can always be able to reach it. Um, so that's what I started doing. But, um, so, always make sure I have water in my bag. And, you know, you get on the road and you're driving so many hours and you don't take the time to stop and eat get you something to drink or anything you're just in a rush 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 you know you got to get things places so sometimes you low run low on sugar so I got a sprite for sugar just in case and um, you know one of those little trail mix um um the little energy bar things, breakfast bars, got one of those, and some Vienna sausages, and oh yeah, another one of these breakfast bars, some of that bumblebee chicken, you know, in the can with the crackers, we've got that, and I keep Raymond noodles on me. You know, I had this other water bottle and our water canteen in my bag. And my best friend told me that, you know, because we had some water bottles. Some of them had the smaller lids on them. And then you've got the wider lids on these. And he told me that he keeps his um, with these wider lids on them because he can crush up the Raymond noodles and put them inside this can and then he can put that on the fire and cook his rainbow noodles inside here and then just eat them out of the can. You don't need a pot and you don't need a bowl and spoon or fork and all that other stuff. But that's all you really need. So that's what I did. I, I traded my um, smaller lid um, canteen for one that's a little bit wider. I thought that was so smart. He thinks of all of these things that I would have never thought of. So, that's what I did. This is a lot of stuff just crammed in here. That I think I need, I, I know I need some more. Anyway, so I got toilet paper and some baby powder, baby wipes. I love to keep baby wipes on me. Do you know that when you're working on your car and you get all that grease and stuff all in your hands and your fingernails and stuff, baby wipes work so good to get your hands like spotless. So, I feel like I have baby wipes around. My ace bandage, bar soap. I've had to shower in the love truck stop showers before they're actually pretty nice especially if you you know can't get home and it's just nice what is it like eleven dollars or something just take a shower there but if you can't get to love to take a shower then it's good to have your bar soap and your shampoo and whatnot in there i got my face cleaners and I keep my scarf, I don't know if it has to be in the bag, but I keep the scarf in my bag. And it's got this little, I wish I would have remembered who it was I got it from. Uh, my best friend found one in at Goodwill. And he only paid a couple of bucks for it. And I tried it out and it was so warm. It's got this little spot right here in the center that's, I guess, got like this wiring, like a heating pad. And it's got this little box that holds 
three AA batteries and you turn it on right here, turn it on right there and that heats up and it heats up pretty quick. So these are nice to have. Um, so I keep that in my truck. I have my jacket and my hoodie in there also. Well, I just stuck this in there. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll stick it with my truck. And then I know I have my water canteen and I know I have a bottle of water and I have a Sprite, but I also have this little baggie that has a little drink and spout on it. You just pop this off. Look that up. You can drink out of it. Fill this sucker up. So, if I'm going on a long trip or something, then I'll just fill this up for just in case. It's just extra water. And I keep my... I forget what these are called, but they're... Uh, those... Oh, they're just dish towels. I was thinking it was a schmock or sh sh shamrock. I don't remember what you call them, but it's just like a dish towel thing. But I love these things. I don't know. Could use it for a towel or wash rag or um, if it's real hot, put a little ice water on it. Help keep me cool. So I keep that on me. And then got my paracord. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I thought, what the heck, I have an extra one, so I might as well stick it in there. A bungee cord. Don't really know what I'm gonna use that for either, but it's in there, so if I don't know, I'm sure if I need it for something. Then, well, at least I have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to have some more of those towel things. I don't know. I just like to have a lot of towels. So, um, and a bandana. It's good to have bandanas. So then I thought, you know, if I do get stuck out there, or if I do get stuck out there, and maybe I'm broke down or something, it's in the middle of the night, I'm in the middle of the nowhere, and I'm starving, I'm hungry, and I have some ramen noodles, I want to heat up a can of beefaroni or raviolis or something. Then I have my fire starter logs. Like I showed you these. These are normally five dollars and at Walmart and I found them misprized for fifty-eight cents. And so I got about fifty of these. I bought every single one of them. So these things are normally $5, I got them for 58 cents. So I have a ton. Um, so I have a couple of fire locks, um, or fire bricks, whatever they're called. Um, then I have my matches. These are, uh, I forgot to tell you last time, these are waterproof matches. So even if they did get wet or damp, then they'll still strike. And the striker is right here on the bottom of the can, but it's full of matches. So really that's all I need is to, uh, is a match and then I have my brick. Then I got my fire. Um, I probably should get one of those little stoves. I have that in my bug out bag, but get one of those little stoves that I'd showed you before to put that on there. That way I can stick my can on there. But if not, I'm sure I could find something. There's always stuff laying around on the road. And then I can have my hot meal. I should probably put some crackers in here also. But I have my fire logs and I have my matches and I have a candle. 
and then also for fire if it if I get stuck out and it's cold and I need a fire I don't know what the laws are about that making a fire but either way, I could have a little video in or something but I have my cotton balls soaked in Vaseline um, I told you last time I wasn't sure how long that they stay lit but I knew it was long enough to help you be able to get a fire started. Um, but when you light your cotton balls, if you have them doused real good in Vaseline, then I believe they'll it'll burn for 20 minutes. You really only need one cotton ball and I have quite a bit of them in here. But if I didn't have my logs or Say I forgot to put some more logs in there. Then I have these cotton balls and that's all I have to do. And then get some sticks and, you know, little wood or whatever. So I have that. And then I have my tarp. So I know that I need, I know I need to get one of those little stoves just because it would be nice to have. I don't really need a pot because of the canteen. Um, and then also if I, you know, have that little stove and I have beef stew, dinty more beef stew or something, then I could just, yeah, I need a can opener. Well, I don't have any cans in here right now that needs a can opener, but I could get some of, you know, a couple of cans of that and put it in there and get me a can. Uh, I was going to say get me a can opener, but I think most of those just pop off. Anyway, I think they just peel off the top. But if I get the little stove, then all I have to do is just set my can on top of the stove and just cook it right in the can, eat it right out of the can. And there was um, this one, there was this uh, one time that the storm hit, had no electricity, no water, nothing for what was it two or two and a half months so I was at my house and I got I still had the food that was in the pantries and so I had a generator hooked up to the refrigerator so the food was still good in the refrigerator and they had all this food and I was like I didn't want it to go to waste I wanted to, you know I had have children that need to eat so as what I did was I walked around the yard and I found these big rocks and I got all these rocks and I put them all out in this big circle and there was a uh, like a chain link fence and it was just the gate itself and it had been you know sitting up against a fence on the side that hadn't been used this was a rental house so I put all of those bricks up there and then I put all the wood and everything from the yard just gathered a whole bunch because we had a little bit of woods in the back and put all the wood in there and I got it started um had a match of course and some lighter fluid from when we had barbecued and I got that started had a nice big fire going and I thought the gate on that fence would work perfect as like a stove top so I got that fence that gate and I stuck it on top of the um, bricks that I had laying around or the rocks laying around there and so then there it was and I have pots and pans so I went inside and I got my pots and pans and stuck them on the fire and I started cooking the food that we had the kids were amazed they were like oh my gosh mom you know how did you think of that you know and whatever they were just amazed you know city kids didn't grow up in the country or anything well i i grew up part of my childhood in the country and i remember my grandma and grandpa one time probably more than once but there was one time that i remember the most is uh they wanted to make it kind of like the old days well they made a fire outside a lot of my family was there my mom and Grandma and Grandpa, her mom and dad, a couple of my aunts and some of my cousins. Well, they made a fire, brought out their cast iron stuff and made some Indian corn soup 
and uh, Indian fry bread outside on the fire. And it was just the most wonderful experience. I had so much fun and I remember that forever. So that's what I was thinking about when that happened was, let's make this fun. We don't have to, you know, suffer more than what we have to. Let's just have a good time with it. And it was my, funny because my kids love microwave popcorn. You just throw the bag in there and you got popcorn. Well, we had this popcorn, but we didn't have a microwave. So it's what I did as I got one of my pots and I had a glass lid and I opened up the popcorn and put it a couple of bags inside the pot and put that glass lid in and I told all the kids, oh, come on, come on, come watch it. It's going to be so fun. And they come out and it just started popping. It's funny kids nowadays, everything's just so quick and easy and um, it really takes away from the fun of you know, just the little stuff. So they were watching that popcorn pop and they was like, ew, that's going to be gross, mom, and all of that. But they were having fun watching the popcorn and they hit the top of the lid and hearing it pop, 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 pop. Um, I took the lid off and I was like, try it. Tell me. If it's real bad, then you just let me know. But I'm telling you, it's probably going to be the best popcorn you ever had. And they all got into it and they loved it. And it was so fun. We had a great time cooking out there. Out in the front yard, in a neighborhood, no electricity. I mean, you do what you can if, I don't know what the rules are about, you know, having a big fire in your front yard and whatever. But, you know, we did fine until, you know, the MREs came in and water and ice and, you know, till we got help. But it was fun. So... I have a lot of stuff I need to put in here. Like, I don't have that um, shiny silver um, emergency blanket thing in here. I need to put that in there. Um, I need to get one of those little stoves. I need to put a backpack. I do have a backpack. Not a backpack. A um, sleeping bag. I do have a sleeping bag that I need to put in my truck. I forgot to put it in there. But I do have a sleeping bag I need to put in the truck, just in case. Um, I don't know some other things. I have my first aid kit right here on the side. It's even this bag. This is just a little cheap bag, nothing fancy. But it does have those little side things that you can... Can you see that? That I don't want to... Well, I already practically did. Well, I'm going to show you anyway. <sighs> I know this is supposed to be easy. Every, everything's, a lot of stuff is difficult for me. But, okay, so, see this bag? It has these things on it. Well, you can get these bags that have these on it. And then they snap right there. So these deals, these here, slide into here. And so you can attach your bag on the outside. And then there's Velcro right here. So if you have something else that has Velcro, then you can put another bag on there. But I have my first aid kit in here. And it's pretty much a lot of the stuff that I already showed you that I had in my first aid kit and then one of my other first aid kits. So it's pretty much a lot of the same. I got my toothbrush and tooth... Oh, that's another toothbrush in there. Can't have too many toothbrushes. But it's a lot. It doesn't have a whole lot of the stuff, but it's it's got quite a bit in here. A lot of... Remember how I told you that I got all of those... Um, like the athlete's foot stuff, the triple antibiotic, the hydrocortisone, and all of those tubes at Food Town for a dollar each. But a whole bunch of those. Still gonna go back and get a whole bunch more. Um, just no telling how long it's gonna last. They get hiked that up and it's gonna cost two or three times more. So I need to get some more of those. But I have all of those in there and some gauze and a whole bunch of band-aids. 
the little bitty bottles of alcohol and peroxide you can get at most of the family dollars have them on sale for a dollar each that's a lot and it's in this little spray bottle so I have the alcohol and peroxide in there as well I mean stuff that's only a dollar you should just stock up on that it's practically nothing so that's it for my bag in the truck I still need to put some more stuff in there um but for now, it's not my bug out bag um but it's just for my truck I probably should have like a full fledged bug out bag in my truck that'd probably be smart but until I do that this is what I got so hmm, guess that's it guys I don't have my coffee right now but here's to you see you later alligators